Hey everyone, this is Larray Robinson coming to you from Columbia, South Carolina, here on my beautiful property and next to Larray's barn. And I am so excited to be sharing with you today how to build a breakfast tray with Larray for Mother's Day. And so Mother's Day is just around the corner, and I don't know about you, but I have a very special mother. The only challenge is she is about 10,000 miles across the ocean. But for those of you who have mothers and for those of you who are able to bless your mother on this Mother's Day, I thought I'd come up with some creative ways and some creative ideas for you as a husband or you as a child to just step in and bless the woman in your life, bless the mother in your life this Mother's Day. You know, as mothers, we fulfill so many diverse roles. We mothers, we wives, we taxi drivers, we businesswomen, we homemakers. And there, there, there are just so many demands placed upon us. We cook and we provide for our families in the form of healthy meals. And, and you know, so this is just a wonderful opportunity for mom to just rest that one special day. So I have wonderful scrumptious ideas that I want to share with you and so I have my tray set up and this is very special to me because growing up it was my sister and my absolute joy to serve my mother on her birthday and on Mother's Day and we, we used to fight who's going to do this who's going to do that and so today I want to just share with you how you can give to your mom so let's get right to it so I've prepared several different things and that I want to give you ideas on and you can find all these recipes on my website or on my social media and we'll give out that information at the end but first of all if your mother is vegan or plant-based then you can make a delicious polenta um, a little polenta pie and polenta is just an unrefined cornmeal. I've been using it for many, many years as a replacement for all the refined um, grits and cornmeal out there. So I've made a delicious little sort of little mold. And to that, I've added some sauteed veggies. You can do oven roasted veggies. And then I've done a fresh tomato, a spring onion, red pepper, and parsley salsa with a little bit of olive oil and a balsamic uh, vinegar. Then I've added avocado and those just a nice combination, good fat with all the vegetables and the raw salsa on there. The second option is a polenta nest that I have put an egg in. If your mom is not plant-based or a vegan and she enjoys eggs now and again, you can do a polenta nest. So same principle, I sort of just took out a spoon after I cooked the polenta and um, and then I added the veggies and I broke an egg into that together I served it with avocado and a delicious salsa and there is just the most delicious wholesome meal for your mom that you can put on a tray the third option is my delicious crustless quiche which you can also find on my website it is a winner you can put anything in there any leftover things you you have in your fridge leftover oven baked veggies uh, you can do it veggie or you can add um, you know uh, anything that that you want a handful of spinach and I've served that with a salsa just that little bit of parsley from my garden and it absolutely makes it look so delicious then something else that will go on the plate is either a berry parfait or a fruit salad and this has become a tradition in our home so I'm going to show you how to assemble a delicious fruit salad bowl and then a berry parfait I love berries firstly because because here in America it's berry season so berries I love berries berries are all those bright colors are full of antioxidants they boost and bolster the brain they help for the immune system and that's very stabilizing on the blood sugar so first of all we just uh, put in our berries put in some berries and thereafter I'm going to use a delicious plant-based coconut milk yogurt 
which is so delicious. It's a low sugar. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there. And then some homemade granola or my delicious seed and nut crunch. That's also on, on my website. And we're just going to repeat it. There you go. Doesn't that just look absolutely delicious? I think we're going to end off with a nice teaspoon of compote, some berry compote and a little bit more granola and I would usually put a lovely sprig of mint and there you go the most delicious berry parfait. Another option is a delicious fresh fruit salad so we have fruit salads probably twice a week in our home with all the seasonal fruits and so I have just made a delicious fresh fruit salad with papaya and kiwi and berries and you can put in apples and pears so just a lovely generous serving of fresh fruit and to that you can either just put raw nuts or seeds or you can put a little dollop of some coconut plain coconut milk yogurt like that and just a nice handful of raw nuts and seeds all the good essential fatty acids to keep mom healthy and to keep her hormones healthy so those are just two options a delicious fruit salad or a lovely berry parfait in our house we love to have a cup of tea I know I am an absolute tea drinker your mom or your wife may enjoy coffee then you can serve her whatever she enjoys then I have prepared for those of you who do not enjoy baking or just don't care for it I've, pre I've prepared delicious no-bake cookies so you would just throw all the ingredients in a pot mix it all to, uh, cook it on for five minutes and uh, put it on wax paper and put it in the fridge until it's cool and there you have the most delicious cup of tea with a lovely cookie that any mom will enjoy. Thank you so much for taking time with me here on my property just outside Luray's Barn in Columbia, South Carolina. Here's to a wonderful Mother's Day. Remember to love your mom, to nurture your mom, to care for her and to make her feel so special because remember she has made so many sacrifices for you. Take care.